Fake news is a problem, but in a country like India, it can almost turn deadly. Video clips, photographs, memes and messages are often used to polarize the communities and spread violence to stir up trouble. A Twitter user uploaded a video of a woman being dragged and murdered in broad daylight. The uploader claimed she was killed by Muslims and leftists for her political views. In reality, the clip was that of a street play depicting the murder of a journalist. But the damage was done. Anti-Muslim messages were being shared on social media and a national news channel covered the story only to retract it later. Sometimes these clips aren't even political. Random videos of celebration can also lead to trouble. This video of a large crowd of supporters celebrating Pakistan's win over India in a cricket match was widely circulated. This time, the message claimed that Indian Muslims were being traitors for supporting their arch rivals. In reality, the people in the video were Pakistani. The video was posted on YouTube and Facebook multiple times, garnered views in the hundred thousand and propagated the idea that Indian Muslims are anti-national. Fake news campaigns in India originate from trolls, fringe elements and groups that are often linked to a certain ideology and agenda. They are manipulating public sentiments, helping politicians win elections and more dangerously fueling communal violence. You realize that at the end of the day, um, while this is being polarized, by the same time, the, those who are playing this game are, are very mindful of the fact that this can be increasingly hurtful as far as the social fabric of the society is concerned. Messaging services like WhatsApp are an ideal medium for propagating fake news in India. End-to-end -end encryption and right to privacy leave no trail, making it almost impossible to track down or counter the distribution of such hoaxes. There are platforms like WhatsApp which are very, very, uh, you know, very popular in India. In fact, uh, they have empowered societies um, massively at a, at a grassroots level. Uh, but, uh, but that doesn't take away the fact that information is spreading without anyone being able to control it. Senior leaders from India's ruling party, the BJP, are showing concern over fake news only after it started coming from the other side. But members from their own organization continue to be guilty of posting, sharing and spreading such messages. Fake news in India is a catalyst for fueling nationalism and sometimes even Islamophobia. But its biggest victim is the truth.